This video will cover how to set up a fluidity control board to control the flexion and extension of a tape actuator. On this slide, what you see is the fluidity control board and its selected features that will be used for this video. This is a setup for the fluidity control board to control the movements of the tape actuator. It consists of the fluidity control board, pressure valves, power supply, motor pump, and tape actuator. We also need a computer to upload the Arduino code onto the fluidity control board. Here is a breakdown of each component that is required in the setup. Next, I'll go through the process of the setup step by step. First, we have to check this switch is pushed towards the left, which indicates 12 volt on the board. Then we will plug in the pins of the pressure valves into valve 1 and valve 2 on the board. There is one thing to take note of while plugging in the pins for valve 1 and valve 2. Ensure the exposed parts of the pins for the pressure valves are positioned as displayed on this slide. Now we will plug in the pins of the motor pump into pump. Be sure to follow the wire connection as shown. By plugging in the Arduino cable and power supply, the setup for the electronics portion is nearly completed except for the programming of the fluidity control board. Now we will assemble the tubes, valves, and actuator to the motor pump. First, attach a tube to the connector on the left. After we have attached the tube, attach the three-way connector to the tube as shown. Now attach a three-way connector to both pressure valves. Please take note the end of the valves used for connecting the three-way connector. Finally, attach the other end of both valves to the tape actuator. Before powering on the power supply, we have to upload the Arduino code onto the fluidity control board. This is the program used for the flexion and extension of the tape actuator. As the program starts, Digital pins 3, 9, and 5 are initialized at outputs. 3 and 9 are turned off while 5 is turned on before the program goes into a loop. The loop portion is the part that causes the tape actuator to flex and extend. After uploading the program, you can switch on the power supply to see if it works. Next, I'll demonstrate how to assemble it.